Let's go ahead and build our first node project that uses TypeScript. I'm going to make a directory called Make Things. It's the name of our project. We're going to go into that directory and initialize our node project. This creates a package.json with some information for us. And this is where we'll store dependencies. I'm going to use TypeScript. So I'll install TypeScript and save it as a development dependency. And I'm also going to include types for node. This gives me IntelliSense and autocompletion for modules that are built into node. Finally, the last thing I'm going to do is use the newly installed TypeScript module and run the TypeScript compiler with a parameter of init to initialize a configuration file. Now we can open up Visual Studio Code. Here we're in our package.json. You can see that we've got our dependencies installed, we've got some additional information, and then we have our configuration file. TypeScript has uh, plenty of configuration options. You can target different types of modules, especially if you're doing browser development. You'll probably want to use these defaults of ECMAScript 5 so that it's compatible with older browsers. Node itself can support a more recent version of JavaScript, but we're going to leave this so you can see how the TypeScript is translated to older JavaScript code. So what I'm going to do is create a folder called source. And in the source folder, I'm going to create a common file. And this is just going to contain a very simple interface called iNamed that indicates whoever in implements this interface should have a name property that's type string. So we'll save that. Now I'm going to add an animal file. And in that animal file, what we'll do is import named from common. This is how TypeScript imports types from other files. So from this path, we're going to use this interface. Animal implements the interface. Now, because I declared this as public in the constructor, it automatically becomes a public property on the class. If I were to make this private, I would get an error because it's no longer implementing name because name is not available externally from the class. So that's just one of the way TypeScript protects us as we're building code. The other thing I want to do is create a list of animals. So I'm going to do that in an interesting way. I'm going to basically extend array of type animal. And in the constructor, I'm going to call the base constructor for an array and then take this list of exotic cats and use them to create animals. So it's pushing these into itself. So essentially creating one of these classes will create for me an array of animal objects that is pre-initialized to this list. We'll save that. And then what I want to go ahead and do is compile this so you can see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my TypeScript configuration. I'm going to tell it to find files, look inside the source directory. This is where the source TypeScript is going to be. And then I'm going to ask it to output the files into the lib directory. We haven't created that, but the compiler will create it for us. The other thing I'm going to do is in my package.json, I'm going to create a build script that simply calls the TypeScript compiler. And that will use the configuration that I created to compile the application. So I should be able to type run script build and see that it's built this library. And when I open up the library, I can see the code it created to create the animal class and the animals class that extends an array. This is an immediately invoked function expression that takes the array object calls the super constructor for it, and then essentially iterates through these names and creates animals. So let's go ahead and continue building some code. I'm going to add a color. And this is going to follow the exact same pattern as the animals, only this time it's going to populate different colors for the colors list. Then I'm going to create a file called thing. And a thing is going to be a combination of an animal and a color. 
So when we look at the thing definition, it pulls in the type for the interface of a name, pulls in an animal, pulls in a color. It implements I named itself, so it's going to have to have a name property. Notice we keep the animal and color private and just expose a getter to return that. If we really wanted to protect and make sure this object can be modified, we could use the object spread operator like this and always return a copy of the object. It's another flexible feature of TypeScript. I'm just going to go ahead and return the reference for now. Notice that the name implementation combines the color and the animal to give the name of the quote unquote thing and the constructor takes in a color and an animal. So that's what the thing is. It's just a combination of a color and an animal. Here I've got an internal function. I'm not exporting it so it's not available to other code and its whole purpose is to pick an item out of an array. This is a generic so it's a generic of type T and what we do is when we get the array of type T we take the list, find a random index into that, round that off, and return the item. So in our make thing function, which we do export, so this will be available outside of this module, we pass it a color list and an animal list, and it'll create a new thing and it pick a random color and pick a random animal. So this is a set of functionality. It's got the class definition and a function to make a new one based on a randomized list. The last file we're going to create here is main, and that's going to tie everything together. So what this will do is import animals and colors, as well as thing and make thing. It'll create this new colors object, which remember, this is essentially an array that is pre-populated with the colors and the animals. Here I'm cheating by creating an array of five items. I don't really care what these items are and iterating through that so that five times I'll make a thing with a random color and animal and write the name out to the console. So let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and build this project. Now that it's built, I can run the main file that's in the lib output. And you see I get my five random things from the list that was passed. For this project, as well as a full reveal deck of the presentation that I gave, visit https github.com. My repo is Jeremy Lickness, and the name of this is TypeScript for Node. Thank you.